A telephone number consists of seven digits. How many different telephone numbers exist if each digit appears only once in the number? So to solve problems like these, you can make seven different slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're dealing with 10 different numbers. Zero, one, two, all the way up to nine. So for this first slot here in our seven digits, we still have 10 numbers available. So there are 10 possible choices for this slot. But in the next slot, we only have nine possible choices because we can't use one of the digits we used here. So there'll be nine there. And following this logic, there will be eight here, seven here, six here, five here, and four here. And then our answer would just be the product of all of these different numbers. And notice that it's very close to 10 factorial, but it's missing the 3, the 2, and the 1. So one way we could write this is 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial. If you actually expand this, you can see that it's true. So writing 10 times 9 times 8 and so on, and then dividing it by 3 factorial, which is just 3 times 2 times 1, you can notice that the 3, the 2, and the 1 in the numerator and the denominator cancel out so that we're just left with our original answer. So 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial is the final answer.